In her popular book, Silent Spring, Rachel Carson wrote, Man is a part of nature, and his war against nature is inevitably a war against himself. She wrote this in the context of the overuse of pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers, and their devastating effects on the environment. An environmentally friendly alternative to relying solely on chemical spraying for invasive species is the use of the natural enemies of these pests to suppress their growth and contain their spread. These natural enemies, termed biological control agents, can be anything from insects to fungi. This practice is termed biological control. One such invasive species is water hyacinth, one of the most problematic freshwater weeds in the world. Originally from the Amazon in South America, the plant has been in South Africa for over a hundred years. The damage caused to infrastructure and ecosystems, and the control measures implemented to contain its spread, costs the country at least 12 million rand a year. Nine different invertebrate species have been intentionally released in South Africa as biological control agents for this weed. Of these agents, two weevil species have been particularly effective. These are Neocatina acorniae, released in 1974, and Neocatina bruchi, released in 1990. It was discovered for the first time last year that these two species can hybridize. This opens the door to a number of research questions, many of which my PhD work will aim to answer. This includes a population genetics analysis into the genetic profiles of the different weevil populations across sites in South Africa. How common is hybridization between the two species? Can we use genetic barcoding techniques to quickly identify hybrids? Are hybrids more damaging to water hyacinth than either purebred parent species? Do they have different thermal tolerances or generation times? Are they less susceptible to parasites? The ultimate aim of this work is to optimize water hyacinth biological control programs by releasing the most effective agents relative to the conditions at targeted release sites. The agents are the weapons used, and this project seeks to sharpen the tools we have in order to best fight the proliferation of this damaging weed.